artists traffic in all kinds of mediums, but few are as stubborn and heavy to work with as rocks. The creators we found toiling with New England's abundant supply of rocks say their passion keeps the rocks light. Jim Ayers is a land artist, comfortable with the idea of impermanence. A lot of it gets washed away, so what are you gonna do? His rock cairns on Periwinkle Cove in Rye, New Hampshire disappear all the time. Then again, new ones magically appear, a cycle of renewal as constant as the ocean tides. Almost every time I've built them, You'll see younger people trying to put them together, and some, some adults. It's pretty inspirational. Periwinkle Cove was a blank canvas when Ayers first placed stone on stone more than 20 years ago. Back when I first started, there wasn't any. I, I started putting up a few, and then I came back probably a week later or so, and somebody else had put a few up. So, yeah, it just creates its own thing. <laughs> what Ayers started here on this little spit of land has now received official attention. No less an authority than Google Maps now refers to Periwinkle Cove as Rock Sculpture Point. Ayers takes it all in stride. Stones will do that, he says. The water and the stones are very, very calming. I don't know why this is everyone's dream to want to do this all day. Jared Flynn is kind of kidding, but kind of not. It's really fun to stack them up together day after day. Yeah, it really doesn't get old. Flynn is redoing a retaining wall at the Stone Trust in Dummerston, Vermont. As long as your passion is high, the rocks are light. It's so satisfying to know that a rock is well placed in a wall and that it'll be there forever. The Stone Trust is where wallers of all ability come together to learn techniques and share hard-won knowledge of this ancient craft. Welcome fellowship indeed for artisans who often labor alone. I like to compare it to like, uh, like marathoning, you know, like we're not in competition with each other, we're more trying to support all of us because if we're out here lifting rocks all day, it really takes support now and again to say, you've got this. So anybody who's out there stacking rocks, you've got this. Like, stay passion driven, the rocks will stay light. And if the idea of stacking rocks appeals to you, the Stone Trust offers numerous workshops throughout the year. More information on our website and much more Chronicle coming your way in the new year, our 43rd year on the air. Thanks, as always, for being a part of the journey. And that is Chronicle for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us, everyone. I'm Anthony Everett. See you back here for another edition of Chronicle. Good night.